A graphics driver is the piece of software that makes your GPU or graphics processing unit work. Your operating system will include a default graphics driver which will work just fine in many cases. However, it is possible to install a graphics driver that's specially designed for your graphics card to get the maximum performance out of it. The question is, how much difference does the right graphics driver make and should you bother with the change? Let's find out. So for this test, we have the default open source x.org Novo display driver that comes with LUbuntu going head to head against NVIDIA's proprietary closed source driver 435. The benchmark we're using here is GLMark2. GLMark2 is quite an old program and it's a pretty easy test for modern GPUs. So to make this a little bit more challenging, I'm going to be running GL Mark II in full screen mode with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. I also did runs with and without the screen capture software running in the background. Screen capture software works as an extra workload and challenge for the GPU. Hardware wise, we will be using a Gigabyte GT1030 OC2G graphics card with an NVIDIA GeForce GT1030 GPU. There has been some controversy about these GPUs lately because some sellers have been supplying them with a much slower DDR4 memory rather than GDDR5 without giving customers proper warning. In this test, we'll be using the faster version of the graphics card with the GDDR5 memory. The CPU is an AMD Ryzen 3600 with 6 cores and 12 threads. The SSD is a Samsung 970 EVO Plus 500GB. We have 2x16GB of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM clocked at 3000MHz for a total of 32GB. And finally we're running LUbuntu 19.10 for the operating system. GL Mark II is super easy to install and use. Just open a terminal, type sudo apt install gl mark2, hit enter and provide your password when asked. To run the test, just type in gl mark2 and hit enter. In this case, I'm also using the full screen option to make the test a little bit harder. Once you run gl mark2, the program will output a series of graphical renditions with as high a frame rate as possible. GL Mark II provides frame rate scores for each individual test and an overall performance score for your graphics. Higher is better. Once I'd finished the tests with the x.org graphics driver, I installed the NVIDIA driver. This was super easy. All I had to do was click start, preferences, software sources. Then I went to the additional drivers tab, tab and selected NVIDIA 435 driver. I then restarted my computer so that the change would take effect and ran the GL Mark II benchmarks again. And now for the results. First up, GL Mark II alone without focal screen running in the background. GL Mark II runs dozens of individual tests, so I have chosen only a selection of them here along with the overall scores. The default driver actually did pretty well with an overall score of 187 points. However, it did show some strain under the terrain and refract te tests with frame rates dropping to 20 and 29 respectively. The jitter was noticeable during the terrain test. Now for an NVIDIA's proprietary driver. As you can see here, there is simply no contest in terms of performance. And NVIDIA's driver is dramatically faster on all of the tests. In fact, none of these tests are really any challenge to NVIDIA's driver at all, with frame rates over 200 frames per second in every single case. Moving on to the test with screen capture software running in the background. As expected, the default driver performed worse than before, with the overall benchmark score dropping by 21% to 147 points. Performance on most tests was still acceptable. However, the frame rate for the refract test dropped to 24 frames per second, which is just about enough for day-to-day -day computing, while the driver could only muster 16 frames per second for the terrain test, just not enough to provide a smooth visual output. 
Having screen capture software running in the background slowed the Nvidia driver by only 2% on the overall score and it still managed to rip through every single test with at least 200 frames per second. Once again, Nvidia's proprietary driver vastly outperformed the default x.org driver. Based on the results you see here, I had pretty much decided that the Nvidia driver was the clear winner. But then I started editing this video and I noticed this. This is the screen recording that I made while I was running GL Mark II on the Nvidia driver. As you see here, screen recording with the x.org driver was also far from perfect, but still dramatically better than with the Nvidia driver. Taking everything into consideration, the Nvidia is still the overall winner. However, if you are having stability issues with your Nvidia driver, consider switching back to the default driver. It might fix your problem. Unfortunately, in LUbuntu 19.10, the GUI method to switch back to the default driver does not work. If you need to switch back to the default driver, here's how to do it. Open a terminal window, type sudo apt purge nvidia star, hit enter, then type sudo apt auto remove and hit enter again. Then reboot your computer so that the changes take effect. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the first benchmark comparison that I've done, so I would love to hear your feedback and tips. Thank you for watching.